It's the most wonderful time of the year. So welcome to the latest episode of Owen Sound, and as it's October, I felt what better way to keep this channel's film section rolling than with some of my favorite horror movies and my recommends for this Halloween season. Notably, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays of the year. I'm a big horror fan. Uh, notably, uh, my entire book collection is taken up. Uh, two thirds of it are Stephen King novels. My favorite book of all time is uh, Misery by Stephen King. I actually do prefer it much more than the movie uh, for several reasons some great scenes and some really messed up stuff that they actually left out of the movie uh, that just blew my mind as a, I believe, 16-year-old kid at the time. Uh, possibly 14 now that I think about it. But yeah, it was pretty messed up. But uh, these are some of my recommendations for what you should be watching this Halloween. So we're just going to start things off with a couple easy ones that people might have just missed. These are on all your favorite top lists of all time. My favorite of all time is The Shining. This is Stanley Kubrick's version. Stephen King actually hates it this one. I don't know why he made his own version. I still haven't seen because it just seems so bizarre and it follows the book which I personally don't find as good as Stanley Kubrick's amazing movie as much as I love Stanley Kubrick too. Um, and it really drives it. It's a really really just greatly made creepy movie. It's not as jump scary and it's just constant terror. Another one obviously is Halloween. This is one of those just the quintessential slasher movie. Uh, of course, Jamie Lee Curtis, who's now in Scream Queens because of stuff like this, and it's just really great old slasher. One of the best sci-fi slashers of all time is, of course, Alien. This is starring Sigourney Weaver. This is Ridley Scott. Uh, he's basically, you know, revolutionize his career on this. H.R. Giger's artwork is amazing. Check it out. Another great one that really still makes me feel queasy watching it is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one. Uh, it just really gruesome. Uh, just the sense of grittiness in this movie is beyond anything I've really ever seen in my life. Um, and it really feels real, like you're almost watching a, a documentary without actually watching one. Another great one is John Carpenter's The Thing. This is one of those special effects kind of master classes uh, that I think just everybody you should watch. You've probably seen it done in something like The X-Files or another TV show uh, where they basically did a bottle episode like this. One of the quintessential parody horror movies is Scream. This one's actually a very serious slasher movie but it plays with all the tropes of this and has basically reset the genre from one of the masters of the genre. Now and going with Russ Craven we can't ignore Nightmare on Elm Street. This first movie is really just an amazing movie. There's some amazing special effects. Freddy Krueger is really at his best in this movie. Um, and just the mix of uh, interesting kills and stuff like that really made this a fun to watch horror movie um, that you know really wasn't that soured by the rest of the franchise uh, considering how bad some of those are. Now of course many of us are going to recommend stuff to you like The Exorcist or something like The Omen, Vision of the Body Snatchers. These are all great picks as well. You can check any of those lists online um, but I wanted to give you my definitive pick. I do love The Exorcist. Uh, I just don't find it as rewatchable as the rest of the movies on this list. Now the rest of my movies are slightly less known or slightly less recommended depending on the movie. I'm going to start off with The Orphanage. This is a movie produced by Guillermo del Toro who I really find is the Spanish kind of master of horror uh, these days. The Orphanage is this really long slow burn. It's just a slight horror aspect mixed in with a lot of different supernatural stuff but there's just so much tension and mood in this movie um, and just certain moments at the end of this movie really uh, make this one that I can never forget. Now one great Canadian one I just wanted to throw in here is Splice. This is a movie uh, starring Sarah Pauly and this certain moments in this movie really reminded me when I went to make this list that this is one that's really genuinely freaky and messed up and scary um, and is one that will stay with you for years. Now the oldest movie on my less known list is Rosemary's Baby. This is starring Mia Farrow. This is an older movie from the 70s. This is directed by Roman Polanski who you may now know for many different reasons but just from the opening soundtrack of this movie it creeps you out. The, I can still hear the song in my head as I'm talking about it. It's a slow burn about like the building that this woman's in much like the Shining. It really builds through the, the setting and just the way that they shoot the movie and it's a really long slow take on this creepiness effect as it slowly grips you as much as it's gripping Mia Farrow. Going forward in time again you have The Descent. This is one of these movies that I feel like was overlooked at the time but has kind of grown into this really well respected movie over time. It's this really I guess kind of lower budget 
a uh, closed space movie about these women who are spelunking through this cave and some things go downhill and I really don't want to spoil it but it's just the way that this movie turns and just every single twist that comes through this movie um, and there are many of them really make this movie one that's hard to forget as the tone of this movie just kind of drops on you every, every moment. Now this next one is going to be the only found footage movie on this list and it's not going to be Cloverfield or the Blair Witch Project. This is Wreck. This is a Spanish horror movie and the way that I found this to be so scary is the way that they use the camera as putting you in the first person's pr perspective instead of just making you feel like you're watching footage um, and putting this first person perspective really drives the movie home. I recommend this movie as much as possible. Another recent movie is The Babadook. This is one of these Australian horror movies. It really kind of creeped into the horror mainstream very quickly as one of these new classics. Uh, it takes a fairy tale and turns it into reality in just this way that's utterly terrifying. I definitely recommend it. Now going to one of the most talked about horror movies in recent years, It Follows. Basically running on the idea of what if death was an STD that you could catch um, and kind of working on this whole idea of having sex to transmit who the killer is going to kill next um, and it really plays on it in an interesting way. This is one of those horror movies that references so many other movies in a great way that you just need to see it and it's so unique um, and really is just a surprise in every way. Now, the last movie on this list is one of my favorites that I've seen in recent years at all. This is Goodnight Mommy. This is an Austrian horror movie um, starring two really great child actors and this one woman actor and just the way that these two kids play off and play with this it's this kind of who's the bad guy movie throughout the entire thing and you really don't know where it's going until the very end of the movie and just the way that it plays with your mind is utterly terrifying and what you're seeing is constantly bending your perception of reality and by the end of the movie you may or may not be scarred for life uh, as I was. So that was my recommendations for what to watch this Halloween. Uh, as always you should definitely be checking out any Stephen King movie or any books for that matter. His short stories are actually really great even if you just want something bite size. Um, but yeah definitely check out Misery. Definitely got a recommendation that one too as long as well as any of the other classics that you've heard of from him of course you can also check out my one of my favorite recommends the twilight zone always watch a couple episodes of that around halloween if you're in the mood for something short and bite size so that'll be it for me this week guys as usual you can check out all my movie recommendations at the real deal podcast on soundcloud i'll post that link at the bottom and everything else i do over at the owen sound wordpress page so thanks again for watching and have a great halloween